Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. I'm Donald Duncan. I'm director of liturgy and music here at Christ Church. And today, for Mondays from Markley Live, I have with me my colleague on staff, Jessica St. Clair Smith. Hello. And um, so for the next couple of months from the worship department, you're going to be hearing from some people who work uh, sort of behind the scenes um, to make um, all things musical and liturgical and worshipful happen here. And so today I have with me Jessica, and she will reveal in just a few moments the ways in which uh, she helps make worship happen here <laughs> at Christ Church. So um, let's start by... Uh, Jessica, why don't you introduce yourself to everyone and tell people what you do here at Christ Church? Sure. Well, as Donald said, I'm Jessica St. Clair Smith. I'm the Director of Strategic Marketing and Communications. I have been on staff since February of 2019. I actually started the same day as Sarah Marzinski, fun fact, and uh, I love it. I love Great. it. Um, so tell us, what does it mean to be the Director of Strategic Marketing and Communications at Christ Church? Uh, what that means is that I am responsible for the communications at Christ Church. In Christ Church and outside of Christ Church, whether we're communicating with our parish family, whether we're communicating with the community, uh, I'm responsible for anything in paper, so that's bulletins, emails, video, the website, the mobile app, I hope you've downloaded it. Um, anything that is related to communications, electronic paper, inside and outside, is my purview. Great. Uh, where did you grow up, Jessica? <laughs> I grew up in a small town um, called Brownwood. It's in central Texas. I attended uh, St. John's Episcopal Church. I was baptized there, and I was confirmed there, reaffirmed there. Maybe you figured out by now that I'm a cradle Episcopalian. Great. Those are rare birds, yes. cradle Episcopalians. Yes, and indeed. We're, <laughs> we're glad to have a one on staff. So. It's, it certainly helps. Yes. Uh, tell us about your family. My family, uh, I am married to Adrian Smith. You have probably seen him. He's the very tall baritone in the choir uh, with the loud voice. He is a professional opera singer by trade, so you have probably heard him sing. And tell us about your experience, your various experiences in the Episcopal Church. Oh, I will, but there's one other person I have to talk about, which is Charlotte Smith, oh. my daughter. Yes, she was born um, in April of 2020, the most, and greatest time to have a baby when you can't get any help and it was a very interesting time let me say that but she's downstairs uh with our ccep family and that's really nice because i can pop down and see her anytime i want yeah it was kind of a long time before we got to meet her because of the whole pandemic thing and mm -hmm. the baby and so she was she was sort of in hiding in quarantine for yes a while, i think so. her her first her first event at christ church was uh coco and carols in december oh wow yeah Okay, yeah, she was in hiding for a while. It was a, a long time, yeah. Um, and your parents live close to us. Some of you may have met them. Mm -hmm. uh, they come to worship services periodically. Tell yes. us about your parents. Uh, my parents are Neil and Kay St. Clair, and they live north of Asheville. And my mom is a cradle Episcopalian, and my dad is a convert from Great. the Baptist. Okay. We have a few of those around here. As many of us are, yes. yes. <laughs> Okay, so now we'll go on. Tell us about your various experiences in parish life in the Episcopal Church. Um, sure. So being a cradle Episcopalian, I was there every Sunday from the time I was born. I started acolyting when I was seven, I guess. Yeah, I think so. I started as a back torch, worked all the way up, and I was an acolyte um, until I was about 20 all the way through college, basically. Uh, and then my husband and I spent graduate school in Boston, so we attended Church of the Advent where he surprised, sang in the choir, and I was on the Flower Guild, um, responsible for flowers a couple of times a month. And it was a really neat, wonderful experience. And I'm actually also on the Flower Guild at Christ Church. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. It's I great. saw one of your, didn't you do one of the Easter, mm -hmm. um, what are they called, badges yeah. that hang at the, hang at the back of the church? Uh, yeah, I did one of the badges um, on the back, I guess it was the back right as you're looking at it, shout out Connie, uh, who helped me get that together. It was Fantastic. really, it was really fun. What do you love most about uh, being an Episcopalian? That's a hard one. Um, probably the worship, probably the worship. I really love traditional worship. I love the majesty and the ambiance of worship, the music, 
and I love the prayers because we've been praying these same prayers for two, you know, 2,000 years. And I love the idea that I'm praying the same prayers as my grandparents who are gone now. But when I pray those prayers, anytime I'm in church, I'm connected with them in a, in a really neat spiritual way because I'm saying the same prayers they said before my mother was born. Mm -hmm. And I, I, there's something really special about that. Yeah, there's something really beautiful about that that yeah. sort of connects us to yeah. um, the communion of saints. Exactly. Um, in a way that's, that's really tangible each and every Sunday. Really, truly. So. What is the description for even song that says, you know, we've been praying, you're, you're joining a conversation that's been going on for, you know, for a long, long time. Since, since before you will, were born. Yes. And will go on even Af after you are dead. Yes. Yeah. I, that resonates with me so much. Beautiful. I, so probably the worship, probably the worship, but of course I love the people here too. The Episcopal yeah. Church is a wonderful mix of different kinds of people from different backgrounds, different, um, just everything, lifestyles, everything. It's wonderful. Tell us um, about the ways in which you support worship here at Christ Church in your position as Director of Communications. Sure. So I work with Donald and Sarah and the Liturgy and Music Department. Um, we produce, every week we produce bulletins. We produce the community news that you guys read every single week in the pews that tells you what's going on in the church. Uh, we also do all of the worship videos, so the stuff that goes on during the week. Mondays for Markley Live, if we do any sort of Lenten specials, like Lenten, uh, let's see, last year we did 60 Seconds with the Psalms mm -hmm. during Lent, um, and then Sunday worship. So if you watch the Sunday worship video, you see that. And then Clergy Clatch will be coming back um, in a couple of weeks, I think, yeah. And so we also, I also work with um, the clergy to produce clergy clatch and put that out live. And I manage um, the YouTube channel where all of that lives. Great. What's your favorite part of your job? Oh, man. Um, it kind of, it kind of changes from week to week depending on what we're working on. On the non-human connection side, I really enjoy doing graphics and I really enjoy um, layout. I love to take pictures. You've probably seen me sort of moving around at various <laughs> events and church services trying to stay out of the trying to stay out of the way but trying to get some good pictures too. So pictures and graphics and then on the people side, I love the collaboration with the staff. It's it's really we have such a good staff here and we have a good time, don't we? Yes, we do. <laughs> we have we a do. really good time. <laughs> um, so we have we have fun. We work hard, but we also we have a lot of fun. So what do you love most about Christ Church? The people, for sure. Um, if I put on my parishioner hat, I love the interaction with the people, the corporate worship. Um, we're all here for the same reason, and that's to worship God, and I love doing that together. And then on the staff side, with my staff hat on, I love the collaboration with the staff and getting to see the same people every single day and work with them um, toward our common goal of worshiping God. Uh, what question have I not asked you that you would like me to ask you? Um, what's my favorite hymn? Oh. What's your favorite hymn, Jessica? Mm, uh, okay, I have too many to mention, as I'm sure you guys do. Uh, this is going to divide the audience, but I really love Advent hymns. Oh, uh, yes. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. I just think... Some of the best hymns we sing. Some of the best hymns we sing are during the Advent season. Um, Ooh, yeah, they're just, they're just so gorgeous, and of course they are anticipatory because we're mm -hmm. waiting. We're waiting for Christ, and so it's, it's probably, I couldn't pick one, but I really like that season. Great. Well, it's coming. It is. It is. Sooner than we think. How many days till Christmas? I, oh, I think we're at about 100 or so. <gasps> I, I haven't checked the calendar Ooh, today to see, but... Yeah. Yes, we're, we're not that far away from Christmas. No, we're not. So, anyway, no, we're not. Jessica, thank you for joining me today. Jessica is very um, integral to the behind the scenes um, production and support of worship here. And so it's great to um, have her come on the other side of the camera. Usually everything, or most things she does are, are sort of behind the scenes and she doesn't get to come in front of the camera. Yeah. And I'm glad that she could join us yeah, this me. morning for this little chat. Me too, and I thank you so. for asking me. If 
for some reason you do have questions, you need help with the mobile app, the website, if you just want to ask me about video production, if you just want to ask me a question, uh, my email is jsmith at ccgsc.org, or you can call the parish house and ask for me because I'm here most days of the week. Great. Thank you, Jessica. Yes, sir. We're going to close with a prayer uh, for our parish family. It's found on page 817 in the Book of Common Prayer. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, hear our prayers for this parish family. Strengthen the faithful, arouse the careless, and restore the penitent. Grant us all things necessary for our common life, and bring us all to be of one heart and mind within your holy church. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Have a great day, everybody.